Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners. Welcome to our today's lesson which we are discussing molar solutions. Molar solutions. Before I get into our today's lesson, if you remember the previous lessons, we have been discussing about the empirical and the molecular formulas. And we seen that the, the empirical formula, this is the formula showing the simplest, is the formula showing the simplest wall number ratio of atoms which are forming a molecule of a compound. It is the simplest number of those atoms which are forming the molecule of a compound. And we did several examples on that. And I hope that you still remember, you still remember that. Then the molecular formula, we said it is the formula showing the actual number of atoms in a molecule or a compound. That is the molecular formula. And again, we also did several examples on that. And I hope you still remember them. Don't forget those very important uh, subtopic, which was the empirical and the molecular formula. In this lesson, I want us now to focus on molar solutions. Molar solutions. And I want us to start by defining what a molar solution is. What do you think a molar solution is? We say that a molar solution, it's a solution that contains one mole of a solute in one liter of the solution. It is a solution that contains one mole of a solute in one liter of the solution. Is a solution that contains one mole of a solute in one liter of the solution. That is what is referred to as a molar solution. I want to give you some examples. An example, if you talk about one mole of a solute, one mole of a solute, I want us to take an example of sodium, sodium hydroxide. One mole of sodium hydroxide, therefore the RFM, start by the RFM, the RFM of sodium hydroxide is 23, the mass of sodium plus the mass of oxygen is 16, plus the mass of hydrogen is 1, and therefore the RFM is 40. Therefore, if you want to prepare, if you want to prepare a molar solution of sodium hydroxide, then we will have to measure or we weigh 40 grams of sodium hydroxide and dissolve them in 1000 centimeters cubed of it is 1000 or one liter of distilled water. That, that will be one molar sodium hydroxide. So weigh 40 grams of sodium hydroxide. Of course, now you are weighing using a weighing balance. And dissolve the 40 grams in 1,000 centimeters cubed, or one liter of distilled water. Then you will now have one molar sodium hydroxide. 
We are saying that a molar solution is a solution that contains one mole of a solute in one liter of the solution. We said that one mole of sodium hydroxide is equivalent to a mass of 40 grams. One mole of sodium hydroxide is equivalent to a mass of 40 grams. And therefore, if we now weigh the 40 grams accurately, you weigh 40 grams accurately of sodium hydroxide pellets, and you dissolve these 40 grams of sodium hydroxide pellets in one liter, then now we'll have a molar solution. Second, if we have, let's say, this is sodium hydroxide, then let's take the example of calcium chloride. There is a formula of calcium, calcium chloride. We work out the RFM of calcium chloride, the RFM or the relative atomic mass of calcium is 40 and the relative atomic mass of choline is 35.5 but there are two atoms of choline then you multiply 35.5 by 2 then this will give you this is 40 plus 71, which is equivalent to 111 grams. 111, that is the RFM of calcium chloride. Therefore, you, if you want to prepare one molar solution or a solution of calcium chloride, then you'll have to weigh 111 grams of calcium chloride accurately and dissolve it in 1000 centimeters cubed or one liter of distilled water. <coughs> that is how you will have one mole or one molar or a molar solution of calcium, calcium chloride. Therefore, if you want to prepare one mole or a molar solution, a molar solution just means that it's a solution that contains one mole of a solute dissolved in one liter of distilled water. That is how you prepare a molar solution. If it is sodium hydroxide, then you just have to weigh 40 grams of sodium hydroxide. You dissolve it in one liter solution. If it's about calcium chloride, then you weigh 111 grams of calcium chloride and dissolve this 111 grams of calcium chloride in one liter of distilled water. And then you'll have a molar solution. Let's take another example using let's sodium sodium carbonate. That is the formula of sodium carbonate. Therefore, the RFM, the relative formula mass of sodium carbonate, will be 23 times 2. You add 12 plus 16 times 3. Mass of sodium is 23. There are, two, there are two atoms of sodium, so 23 times 2, and plus the mass of carbon, which is 12, plus the mass of oxygen, which is 16, and there are three, three atoms, then it is uh, 16 times 3. Then this is now going to give you 46, plus 12, plus 48, and the total is now giving you 106. And therefore, if you want to prepare a molar solution of uh, sodium carbonate, then you now have to weigh 
106 grams of sodium carbonate in 1000 centimeters cubed or 1 liter of distilled water. So 1000 centimeters cubed and 1 liter is one and the same thing or 1 decimeter cubed. It is still 1 liter. Therefore, I hope now you understand how you prepare molar solutions. I hope you now get that so clearly how you prepare molar solution. Therefore, you just need to get the mass or one molar that salt, then dissolve it in in one liter of one liter of distilled water. And you have done several examples on that. I hope you've understood that uh, so clearly. I want to do one more example on sodium nitrate. Sodium nitrate. The RFM of sodium nitrate is the mass of sodium is 23. Then you add mass of nitrogen is 14. Then you add 16 times 3, which is a mass of oxygen. There are three atoms, that's why we are multiplied by three. Then this is 23. 23 plus 14 plus 48. 23 plus 14 plus 48. That is giving you 85. So the RFM of sodium nitrate is 85. Therefore, to prepare a molar solution of sodium nitrate, you will have to, to weigh accurately 85 grams of sodium nitrate and dissolve and dissolve it in in 1000 centimeters cubed or 1 dm cubed or 1 liter of water and this water is distilled one liter of distilled water. Distilled is just means water with, with little amount of dissolved substances in it. That is how you prepare molar solutions. Molar solution, once again, is a solution that contains one mole of a solute in one liter of the solution. I have done several examples but one thing I have to insist on is one mole of the solute. And this one mole of the solute is dissolved in one liter of the solution. Therefore, you need to understand that so clearly. I have done several examples. One was using the sodium hydroxide. That the RFM of sodium hydroxide is 40. It now means that one mole of sodium hydroxide is 40 or one yes one mole of sodium hydroxide is 40 therefore if you want to prepare a molar solution of sodium hydroxide then it is we have to weigh 40 grams of sodium hydroxide dissolve it in one liter of one liter of distilled water and then you will have one molar sodium hydroxide Second, we have done it with calcium chloride. The RFM of calcium chloride is 100 and 111. Then to prepare a molar solution of calcium chloride, we have to weigh 111 grams of calcium chloride solid accurately 
then dissolve it in 1000 centimeters cubed or one liter of distilled water. Third, if you want to prepare a molar solution of sodium carbonate, then it would be you weigh 106 grams, which is the RFM of sodium carbonate. You dissolve these 106 grams of sodium carbonate in one liter of distilled water. Then lastly, you have sodium nitrate. If you want to prepare one molar or, or one uh, molar solution of sodium nitrate, then you have now to weigh 85 grams of sodium nitrate and uh, dissolve it in one liter of distilled water or 1,000 centimeters cubed or even 1,000 uh, decimeter cubed. I want to leave you with this assignment. And the assignment, this is what we, you are going to do. That is the assignment. Explain how a molar solution of the following salts can be prepared. One is sodium chloride, two potassium sulfate, three ammonium chloride, four magnesium nitrate. Then I've given you the relative atomic masses of the various atoms which are now part of their formulas. Then maybe now to guide you through what we are doing. For example, I want us now to just do one, just to guide you with one. This is sodium chloride. At sodium chloride, now you have to calculate the RFM of sodium chloride. In sodium chloride, the RFM, and this is 23, then you are adding 35.5. Then this is, is going now to give you 23 plus 35.5, that is 58.5.5. Therefore, a molar solution of sodium chloride, then you just have to weigh 58.5 grams of sodium chloride, then dissolve that. 58.5 grams of sodium chloride in one liter of one liter of distilled water. Therefore, ensure that you have done that in the others. Therefore, that brings us to the end of our lesson today. In the next lesson, we are going to discuss or learn about concentration of a solution. What is a concentrated solution. That is now what you'll be learning in the next lesson. Therefore, let's meet in the next lesson.